What's up, everybody? Today, we're going to talk about everybody's favorite subject, coffee. Specifically, how to make a pretty gourmet cup of coffee, requiring no knowledge of how to make gourmet coffee, and some equipment that will cost you less than $20. So, let's get started. First, what are you going to need? Well, uh, this is pretty much it. This is the guy we want to talk about right here, the OXO Brew Pour Over Coffee Maker. It's only got a few parts, the lid, the water reservoir, and then the dripper part. It's not super complicated. You're also going to need a, a cup, hopefully you have one of those already, and uh, then you just need a paper number two coffee filter, and some coffee. Any kind of coffee you want, any grind you want, any roast you want, whatever you like, it doesn't really matter. Like I said, you really don't need to know anything about making gourmet coffee to use this brewer. It's dead simple. You take off your water reservoir and lid, and then you uh, put a new paper filter. I like to fold the edge down and make a nice crisp corner, that way it fits in the dripper without going crooked or coming up at all. So you fold that down, and then you pretty much just add your coffee, however much you normally use. If you make a pour over, use that much. If you use a drip brewer, use that much. It doesn't really matter. This thing's pretty forgiving. It's going to make a pretty good cup of coffee no matter what you do to it. Trust me, I've tried everything. Once you get your coffee in there, then you remember that you left the kettle off camera and you reach to grab it and then you fill it up with hot water. You can make as much or as little coffee as you want. The water reservoir is graduated, so it will tell you exactly how much coffee you're about to make yourself. So you fill the water reservoir up to however high you want, and then that's it. Once your water's in there, you pretty much just have to wait. You don't need to watch this thing. You don't need to refill it. You don't need to pour it in a circle with a gooseneck kettle. You just, you just gotta wait and uh, go do something else. So I guess while we're waiting, let's talk about how this thing works. Basically, there are different sized holes at the bottom of the reservoir that control how much water comes out at any particular time in the brewing process. Now, if you listen to OXO, this means you'll get a perfect cup of coffee every time. And whether that's true or not is up to you. But I will tell you that this is a cheap, easy, simple way to make a pretty darn good cup of joe pretty much every single time. There's not much variation, and you can't really screw it up. So, let's fast forward a little bit. It's going to take you about three and a half to four minutes to make a cup of coffee this way, but the amount of work you have to do is really like 15 seconds. The rest is just waiting. And it looks like we're done. There's not much left to say about the OXO Brew pour over coffee maker, except that one last trick is that the lid acts as a little plate for the brewer when you're done using it. That way you don't drip extra coffee all over the counter. And that's pretty nice. Now the only thing that's really left to do is drink it. And that's kind of the best part. So if you want to make a really strong cup of coffee every single time with almost no effort and very little investment, you might want to pick up an OXO Brew Pour Over Coffee Maker. And if you do, just click the link in the description to get yourself one. And let us know what you think in the comments.